Hi, uh, today's video we're going to talk about lighting for your uh, different lighting for the colocation and how it affect the colors on the leaves. Um, firstly, uh, this guy over here, the mojito, um, from experience and from what I have seen on big um, colocasia garden in Thailand that I have traveled and I, I have seen, uh, if it's under shed like this, um, it doesn't get hit by direct sunlight at any time. The black spot, the black blotch on the leaf will be really prominent. You will, you will be able to tell the difference straight away. Um, unlike if they are under direct sunlight, the black blotch will fade quite much. So it will not be really beautiful. Ah, like this guy here. See? See? It's really beautiful. The You can tell the difference straight away. It's really contrast. Um, now, um, about the stripes on the stem, on the shoot, uh, some are less stripy, it has less black stripes, so there will be less black blotch, black spots on the leaf as well. But those black spots will be really prominent. You can see it like, you can see it straight away. It's not going to be grayish, it's black. Um, and that's for the mojito, if you want the leaf to be, the black to be really prominent and showing, don't put it under direct sunlight. Do not do that. I mean, it will survive. It thrive, no problem. Shade or sunlight, no problem. But if you want the looks, that black blotch spots on the leaf to be prominent, under some shed, uh, direct sunlight is not going to be giving you that beautiful looking leaf. Now, it's different for the other black colocations such as diamond head, uh, coral, uh, the painted black gecko, uh, even black magic. If it doesn't get hit by direct sunlight, you will not get that black looking leaf. As you can see, this is the diamond head. You can see it's kind of green. Doesn't get really black. Um, because over here, there's no direct sunlight at all. So this is something that you need to keep in mind. They need direct sunlight. I don't know what's happened in colder climates, but this is what's happening at my home. One more thing about lighting. This is more problem for me. Um, when it's not under direct sunlight, when it's under shade, shaded area like this, the shoot tends to grow really tall. And I don't like that. It's, it's tall, but doesn't, it doesn't get bigger. It's just getting taller because it's reaching up for more light. That's what the, that's what they're naturally doing. They don't have enough light. Uh, so that's what they're doing. I don't like that, but right now I don't have a choice. But for the mojito, I would, I would continue to do it this way. It will not be under direct sunlight, uh, but it will be moved uh, under some uh, shaded I don't know what they call the, they reduce the sunlight, this thing, like netty thing. They help reduce sunlight. So it will help the mojito. I will have some area that has 
uh, less sunlight and some area that has like 100% direct sunlight for all the other co-location. Oh, I forgot. This one, this little queen, this is called Queen of Phoenix. It's one of the hybrids that are very famous right now in Thailand. Um, it has kind of three colors. It's that uh, velvety green and that yellowish face and then this purple pink burgundy lines that will go on the what they call vein of the leaf now these lines will not be prominent or showing unless it get hit by direct sunlight it'll just be like this but if just a couple of days of sunlight these lines gonna go all the way on the oh, mosquito these lines these pink line will go all the way on the vein but right now uh, <laughs> I'm building the greenhouse cage thing so she stays here that's it for today thank you for watching